with a new stream. Today we're playing more of Outer Wilds. This is part two. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe Kurosu and I'm also known as the Keeper of Wishes. I completely forgot what we were doing in this game, but we're looping so it shouldn't really matter too much. Ugh. Yep. Let's go. Wait, you have nothing new to say to me? There's our pilot, ready to get this beauty off the ground. Hey, Maniac. Hey, what can I do for you? Well, luckily, I'm in a time loose. On... I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Not if you use the scout to detect it, you won't, you dumb idiot. Did you think I made that just so you can take pretty little pictures of trees? The scout? Oh, okay. It has multiple uses. You do know you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above. Please tell me you knew that. Uh, I want to ask about the sun. It's going to go supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfeld's domain. Me? I'm here for the rocket science and marshmallows. <laughs> I'd be here for the marshmallows, too. Hey, Maniac, what have you been up to? Hey, Minuton! Sup, sup, how is everyone? We're gonna go to the giant green island. Put on the suit. <sighs> I had a rush to start this stream. I was washing my car outside in peak heat. It was not fun. Nothing much working, I see. And you're good, men in ten. We're going this way. Engage autopilot. Oh, hey, Dark. Thank you so much for the 16 months of tier 1 sub. Party when Koi's gone. No! Why do you guys have to do fun things when I'm gone? Why can't we do fun things when I'm around? I promise, starting next week, I'm going to be more involved and uh, engaging within the community. Because it's going to be back to full-on work mode. Uh, well, trying to get away from my current job into a new one. So I will have more time on my hand outside of job hunting. That's, that's the hopes, anyway. Don't laugh at me! <laughs> it's not nice. Hit. Yep. Power. Hit. Power. Okay, where is that one island? Somewhere around here. The, the one with like the funky looking... Oh, there it is. There you are. I damage anything. Dang, that was a perfect landing. Okay, ghost matters. Quip scout launcher. Photo mode. Okay, so this shift hold. There's no ghost matter this way. This is how you do it. Ooh, I just ran down the wrong corridor. I thought anytime you saw those little spiky things on the ground, it just meant ghost matter was permanently there. But I guess not. There's ghost matter there. Wait, so how do I, how do I navigate around this? Oh, this way! Oh, my genius! Oh, 
play recording. Trip four, entry number whatever. Crashes, two. Boring crashes, zero. Remember to see slate when I get back. Haha, <laughs> yeah! Yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered. Giants deep. You just got felt sparred. Felt sparred. That's one of my more dramatic feats. If you do say my, if I do say my, ah, if I do say so myself, can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, can't wait to tell Hornfells and Gossen about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right. So that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark bramble, here I come. Light campfire, ha 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 ha. Oh, more fuel. Roast the marshmallow. Uh, extend. Burn, burn! This is what you guys are gonna do in the Discord, aren't ya? Just gonna burn and then it incinerates. You better not. You better not. Promise you will behave while I'm gone. The silence is not very reassuring. Signal scope. Cam. Or wait, no, not signal scope. The scout launcher. Okay. Okay, that way is dangerous. This way isn't dangerous. Well, what's the whole point of this? What are you? Can I go up? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! 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 I'm flying. We're falling. I don't know what's going on. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Where's my ship? Ow! Where am I? I'm dead. How long you gone for? I will be back on Sunday. So I'll be gone for four days, three nights. Hey, Connor. Wait, what time is it for you, Connor? Oh no, not this biome. <laughs> that was a very short loop. I broke my legs and died. 2 a.m. Why? Well, shouldn't you be sleeping? Or is your insomnia extra bad tonight? might play Warframe. <laughs> I can never get into that game. Let's go check out the little log over here and see. Jeez, there are so many things. Fun fact, if you stay in the main menu, the star explodes. Oh, okay. I haven't looked at this map in a while, it seems, given that all these little things are showing up. <laughs> How do I go closer? There we go. Southern Observatory. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's south pole. There are two paths beneath Brittle Hollow's surface that lead to the observatory. One starts at the Gravity Canyon, and the other starts at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. You know, Koi? I'd pay to watch you play Darkwood. What's Darkwood? The Nomai at the Southern Observatory constructed a model of Giant's Deep that revealed how an object might sink below the strong ocean current. It's 
what Stark would say was. <laughs> oh, is it a scary game? Construction yard. This island uh, is where the Nomai built the orbital probe cannon for some reason. For some reason, the Nomai put the orbital probe cannon on indefinite hiatus. The cannon was not asked to fire. According to the Nomai computer, a long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital probe cannon. Feldspar. Feldspar headed off to a dark bramble after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. Rebels Island. An island of thorny vines and what appears to be fro uh, a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Felspar camped here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Hmm. Uh. Rebeg headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Rebeg landed their ship near the big biome at the South Pole. The door leading inside was broken, so they decided to head north to the ruins on the equator in search of a way beneath the surface. Mm. The door leading inside was broken, they decided to head north to the ruins on the equator. Ruins north on the equator. Okay, we can try and go there. It was... Was it Brittle Hollow? No, it was... Somewhere else. Uh, dark bramble, I think. Engage. But seriously, what is dark wood? I will consider doing more scary content during October. Okay. There, I said it. It's also the month that I choose to retire. <laughs> Would you imagine I me mean, scamming you guys like that? Oh no, Dark Bramble's the evil, evil, stupid, Evil, oh gosh, the anglerfish place. I don't want to go here. Uh, where's? No, not giant steep. Timber hurts his home. Brittle hollow. Is it brittle hollow? Which one's the one that has like all the funky ember twins? I guess it's brittle hollow. Engage autopilot. Go, go, go. Wow. I can try and play, finish playing through Outlast, since I didn't get really far into it, my initial playthrough. I don't think this was the right place. turned off. Sorry. Just 
check DMs, like right now, this instant, do I have to? Am I gonna regret it if I don't? Oh, I forgot my suit. Ha <laughs> ha, how awkward. There we go. Imagine if this place had no oxygen, I would have instantly died. Huh. What was the other thing that was broken? It was broken. It is the hull. So. This. There we go. This is a ruins north. Quantum Tower of Knowledge. It's a ruin. It, it should count. We can find a way. We'll find a way to. Camera. Mm. Is there a way in? It's upside out, oh no. Some way to get in from the bottom, I think. This feels like a mistake. I don't want to die. The worst part about this game is just having to re-travel to places. This um, this feels like a trap. No! The stupid, stupid core! Yeah, it is the entire concept to re-travel with the pain in the foot. How do I, how do I stabilize? How do I? There we go. How do I put this thing away? I forgot how to use the controls. Okay, match velocity. Match velocity. There we go. Oh,
Oh god, this is actually making me dizzy. I'm fucking scared of heights and seeing this just kills me. <sighs> Welcome to my world. Pain. I'm gonna line it up. Eh. Okay. the stupid planet. There we go. Ugh. Okay, we're back. That's the fuel. It was around the one of these houses. It's the front of this house, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now we have to go back to that ruin thing again. Really? A new place. Ghost matter detected. Uh, photo moon. Yeah. Just in there. Oh, stuff. Read. The journey here from the South Pole has begun. Um, or has been. Um, I'm going to go with uh, harrowing, or harrowing, because of the um, all of the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little, and there's some sort of old gnome path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined buildings with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. In the house with all the trees. Cross. House. Like our own trees. This one. This one. Oh. Oh. Wah! Oh, I'm already getting dizzy. Go, go, go. 
Alright. I'll try to sleep now. Okay, good night. So, good night. Or see you later. Hey, Ken. I'm doing good. How about yourself? Gravity Crystal Workshop. I don't know here. Well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. I guess that's the part of uh, part to focus on. And now, how I'll eventually, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. I'm good. Hope your day is going well. There, quite. It is good. Today was my last work day for the week, and then my vacation starts. Uh. And then after that, it's gonna be serious work mode, which I'm not looking forward to, but... Oh well, that's the part of life, right? But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here, and east is a, gra is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting ox oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I, uh, use up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down below so I can refill my tank. Oh, okay. So, we're like at the center. And if we go... someone here? Oh, someone is here! Hi! Oh, you launched. That's great. Good job. You, or great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see you with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere. My little scout says it's halfway stable instead of being stuck into what's below. Uh, I have been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, in integrity. so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be, yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. Um, what is it? I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow, so then the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. Where should I explore here? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole. 
actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the hanging city that's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also the big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I've tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, THE archaeologist, I guess. Seeing as I'm all Timberheart's got right now. Riddle Hollow is rich with know my history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If I have, if you have any questions about the about the Brittle Hollow, know my, I'm your Hearthian, or um, I have some knowledge of them. I mean, so maybe I could, ha maybe I can help. Okay, see you later. I doze off. to soften my blow. Gosh darn it. Okay. Time to go back there. <gasps> Kaboom. Oh, did I unlock anything new? That's a log. I did, the Hanging City. Is this a camp at the bottom of the crossroads? Their excitement at, the, at being surrounded by so much known by history is matched only to their terror of the black hole. Hey, Zuzu! Hello, hello, how are you? I am doing great. How about yourself? Uh, Rebecca is Timberheart's only archaeologist. They overcame their fear of space to explore Brittle Hollow's treasure trove of Nomai culture. Hmm, South Pole, there are two paths beneath Brittle Hollow's surface that lead to the observatory. One starts at the gravity cannon, and the other starts at the uh, quantum of knowledge. Vivek says that you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried. But there's probably a path that's beneath the crust somewhere. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. Okay. I'm doing good on my way to a swimming pool. Ooh, that sounds fun! I have some trainings to do. Oh, training? What are you training for? Ram. 
symbol, and there it is. Nothing, nothing. Just some volunteering projects that require some training. That doesn't sound like nothing. Sounds like something to me. Did I just land in a tree? What is this? Oh, this is the escape pod. Eh! It's a dangerous project? Well, I hope that you... you... end the... the training safely. I have not done my packing yet. Let's not think about that. <laughs> packing? <laughs> I play video games. That's more important. <laughs> can pack later. Yeah. Do you even know what to pack? Oh yeah, I, I go on trips a lot, so I am a veteran when it comes to packing my own things. Whether it's for a casual hotel stay or even like a hardcore camping trip. I've been doing it since I was little, so... You don't have to be too worried about me. I'm not that much of a klutz. Gravity cannon. Gravity cannon. Tower quantum knowledge. I think that's the gravity cannon. What is this? Hanging city. Okay, you can pack late since you're a professional packer. Yeah! I'm a professional. Oh, wait, what's. What's the thing? North or south? Shoot. I think it was north. Right? The. the. Shoot. Okay. So, so this way, but I have to go in either direction this way first to get to whatever it is that I need to get to. Gosh darn it, why is it so difficult? Is the top part connected to anything? It's not. Okay. Okay, I go now. Have a great stream and have fun at EVO. Thank you, I will. And I hope you have a good time with training. And please don't hurt yourself. Take care. Bum, 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 bum. Wait, this wasn't here before. Why are you only showing up now after I died? Quickly now. That's not what I wanted. Bells, be welcomed in this place. 
Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Ascend? I can't go up the stairs. It's broken. The stairs are broken. Oh, maybe this will leave me up. Shoo! Whoop, 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 whoop. Where am I? The Southern Observatory. Okay, so this way is to the Southern Observatory. Southern Observatory. Isn't this where I fell last time? Launchpad nonsense. This nonsense again. <clears throat> Not that. Get me back onto the planet. Please. Nope. Not the sun. There it is. Zoop. Come on! This planet is not that scary, it's 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 not that scary. It's back. Can I do this this time? <sighs> okay, okay, okay.
Don't die. You're not dead. You're alive. I think I'm doing it. I'm doing it! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Dang it. Uh. The launcher. Camera mode. supposed to do um game it's returning around go away Yes, I'm so smart. <laughs> okay. Is this a log. No, it's not. Okay. We're doing it. We made it to the underside of the observatory. I'm smart. Doing it, doing it. Ha ha ha. Uh, where? Go! <laughs> we did it. We're inside. Quickly now. Lifting the orbital probe cannon components into the orbit for assembly and one somehow sank beneath the surface. I already read that. Okay, it's not that. Okay. What is this? Ooh, fancy. Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past a current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. In update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones on giant steep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Kasaba typically uses to send the components into orbit. There also exists a rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the water below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handy handiwork and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? 
The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> Sounds like me. So... Which one's a normal one? Counterclockwise? They rotate clockwise. Okay, the one that's rotating clockwise is the normal one. This one. The counterclockwise one's the abnormal one. I can send you to... I don't like this. Leave me alone. Ooh, okay. More stuff. Hurry. Fast. Work fast. What I what have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in the orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the alt uh, on the Atler rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any traces of the eye signal. Interesting. Hypothesis: The eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasaba, how can you suggest that the eye signal called out to some? summon us to this star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eyes' stories. Yet yeah, we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. I. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Interesting. So this one's useless still. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know that the eye looks uh, what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's try out a or let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape uh, would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Morrow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Yes, let's build a cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Okay, so we did... So that's why they were at Giant's Deep making that probe. It was to try to find this eye once again. Am I missing anything else? Doesn't seem like it. What is this? Oh, it's not even a hole. It's just a pit. 
Is the door open now? Haha! -ha! Yes, it is! Go back to our ship. Or die. That works too. I mean, it's a reset. How do I land gracefully without breaking my legs? I don't get that. <sighs> Drink some water. A probe. Okay. Back to my ship. Let's see what the log has to say now. How is this log just traversing all the loops? Tornado simulation. And then observatory. Now I decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the gnome I believe the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Most cyclones on the giant state rotate clockwise. Law, opposite direction will push you below the current. The broken remain of the Nomai space station and orbit around Giant Steep. There are three access ways branching off from the central hub area. The orbital probe cannon was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. The Nomai pushed the orbital probe cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of universe. One of the orbital probe cannon three modules. One of the orbital probe cannon three modules. The launch module looks heavily damaged. There is a huge breach in the glass viewport. The launch module's viewport window is fractured, exposing it to the vacuum of space. A Noma, uh, computer reports the probe tracking module uh, as missing. But yeah, it was launched. Gavro says there is a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. The Nomai on the construction yard saw something sink beneath the underwater current, which they previously thought was impossible. Fes Feldspar found a way to reach the core of the giant steep. Gavro's Island. Gavro was lodging, er, lounging in a hammock near the island shore. Gavro found a Nomai statue on another island. The statue's eyes started glowing and Gavro saw their memories flash before their eyes. Gavro remembered dying. They saw their memories flash before their eyes just like the time with the statue. Gavro and I seem to be the only ones aware that we're in a time loop. Hmm. Statue Island. This island must be where the Nomai created statues like the one in our observatory. I found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks like the one in our observatory. So... I found a sign for a statue workshop next to a broken door that uses a lead inside the island. Some Nomoi children debated bypassing the statue's workshop door and sneaking inside via an alternate, more dangerous route. I can see into a large cave from one of the ruins of the top of the island. The bottom of the cave is filled with water. So... 
And we should go to the the water planet. Giants deep. The nausea that I feel from playing this game is similar to um, the flight simulator in VR. It's not very fun uh, seeing the camera jostle around. So, clockwise is a normal cyclone, counterclockwise is the cyclone that we want to go into, so it'll push us below the water surface. That is clockwise. That one's going clockwise. That one's going counterclockwise. That one! You send us in! this thing? Jellyfish shoot. Okay, well, yeah, that's dangerous. Do not touch that. Oh, what's this? Wait, don't touch that! Don't touch it! Electrical system needs Oh there it is normal, but now I can't get back to my ship. Okay. Phew. Do not touch electric ball. It's bad touch.
one island? Where is this? What kind of island thing am I looking at? Okay, and buckle. I don't know where this is, but... Whoa! A new area. I think. Okay, well that doesn't do anything. Conversations. Hmm, don't seem like it. Oh, what's this? Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Okay. Maybe that's what happened to a Feldspar. He like learned the secrets of quantum traveling and then he left. But then messed up and caused a supernova instead. Entered this place without friends. However, these are lessons to learn for yourself. You mean to fall into this hole? Okay. Seek the wandering arch. Seeking the Wandering Arch. Whee! Oh, that's kind of cool. Unidentified signal, am I? Oh, this thing is creepy. Ellen Shard. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Sorry. Oh, so like, clip the scout launcher. 
picture mode and take a picture. Gosh darn it. Where did it go? Observing. Okay. Taking a picture of a quantum. You're still creepy, I hate it. I don't like these Glonda rocks, so <laughs> they're creepy. This is the last one, but we made it harder. I'm also known as the Keeper of Wishes. Right now I'm playing some Outer Wilds and trying to figure out this quantum puzzle. No! It showed up behind me. Okay, okay, okay. It has persisted. Here it is. <coughs> I did it. But welcome. Are you a fan of this game series? What has brought you to my channel? We offer our uh, congratulations. You have learned the rules of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. This game looks really fun, and I've always wanted to play it. Yeah, it is very fun. Uh, interesting mechanics, for sure. Like, this one, um, if you, you see the, that rock, if you lose sight of it it moves somewhere else but 
if you take a photo of it, you can look away, but you can still see it. As long as it's within your line of sight. It's a very creative me mechanic, if I have to say so myself. Not sure what this floor bit does. But yeah. What games do you usually like to play? Ocean Depths, Quantum Tower. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Radio Tower. A radio tower designed to retrieve photos taken by the Deep Space Satellite. There are several photos of the entire solar system hanging on the walls. Hornfels noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded the equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. Ram Island. Island 45 appears frozen jellyfish. Dark Bramble. I highly recommend just buying the game and playing it blind. Yeah. Anything dealing with space. Fair. This one's one of those games where the less you know, the better. Yeah. Because, um, I can definitely see if you already know, like, the mechanics to how certain things work, you can just breeze through the game without having to officially learn that knowledge by exploring the world. But do not take any of the flying lessons off or, or flying experience off of my stream as legitimate. I'm pretty sure there's better ways of flying in this game. I am just very bad at landing. about it already. I like it so much I looked up a lot about it. Oh no! That one's going counterclockwise. Let's go! Am I stupid? Yes, I am. That was not the right one, apparently. Clockwise, clockwise. Yeah, this one's going counterclockwise. Or my psychopath. There we go. Ha 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 ha. Zannen You missed it earlier, T. Uh, Connor was telling me to check out a game called Darkwoods. Do you know anything about a game called Darkwoods? I have never heard about it. Oh, okay. Just a tornado. You're gonna spit me out. Yeah, 
find the statue. Statue Island. Where is it? Google says it's a survival horror. Oh god. That would explain why I've never looked into it. <laughs> Fair. Dark Woods. Yeah, I can. Uh, Connor wants him to play it. something. Oh gosh. Land on something. Okay, we did it. Beautiful parking job. We made it inside. Open the door. <laughs> So how's everyone going? I'm doing great. Er, as good as I can be doing. I'm about to go on vacation starting tomorrow. Today was my last day of work for the week. I'm super excited. We're, I'm going to Las Vegas and we're gonna go to Evo. I don't know if you ever heard of Evo. It's like a fighting tournament convention-esque thing. I've never been! This is my first time going! Uh, Yara, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? We're, when pairing, the statue will choose whoever is closest proximity. Okay. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memory and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now we can have our finest successful pairing. Er, sorry. We can have our first successful pairing. We can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a signal nomize, a single nomize memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those sh uh, send those stored memories back to the corresponding nomai. What's the point of storing memory, though? So a nomai with a statue, which goes to the mask, which goes back to the nomai again? But why? Do they have dementia? Struggling with memory loss? Ash Twin Project. I have installed the mask inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statue will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? 
If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be po it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I I hadn't thought of it. I haven't thought of that. I hear. Oh no! It's stupid Nova! I haven't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. No, 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 no. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? I don't want to be sent back yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. What if there's more shit I have to discover? No! Kusa! Kusa! Yamete! No! No! <laughs> And there's the mask that we just learned about. So, the mask gives us memories that link us back to the original form. And that's what's making the loop. Boom. I guess that makes sense, sort of, maybe. You learned more information. Tell us, computer. What do you have to say for that? Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Alright, I found a Nomai statue. Statue workshop. Okay, Nomai statues are designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin project. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which would then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded, or in the event that it failed. Hmm. Okay. Ash Twin project. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twins. Okay. Nomai Mines. The Nomai mine mined ore from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twins. Once the shell was finished, the Nomai checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. Hmm. Hanging City. There's a huge Nomai city just to the north of uh, Rebix campsite. One of the three escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. The Nomai survivors who crashed on Brittle Hollow climbed down the cliffs to a s shelter site below the surface. Mm. He went to Dark Bramble. Let's go to Dark Bramble. Yay! Dark Bramble. My favorite! Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Tab. Where are you? Dark. There you are. Dark rambles that way. And we're going to not a crash into the sun this time, right? We're clearing it. Yes. We are! We made a pass safely. Headed 
Let's start a ramble. Where did he go on this cursed place? Landing gear and landing camera damaged. Okay, we gotta fix that. Landing camera, there we go. Fix. This way sucks. Oh, are there so many fish? What the heck is that? Duplicate signal? The heck? Okay. Yes, those fishies look awful. Don't I technically don't want to be here, but Okay. I need to fix some stuff. So um What else needs to be fixed? It's called gravity something or another, okay? Open the hatch! No! Gravity. Gravity. No! No! Don't blow it off! Where's 
gravity, whatever the heck. Oh, see ya. Maybe it's on the inside? Oh, this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, there we go, there we go. I got it. What the heck? There anything? Here's this. Okay, we're gonna follow the harmonica. I don't care. How do I. Is it a bad fishy? Please don't be a bad fishy. I don't want to be a bad fishy. <laughs> no, bad fishies! <sighs> I know I said I looked a, a uh, looked up a lot of this game, but I don't know much about Dark Bramble here, but it looks absolutely terrifying. Yes? Yeah, back to the start we go. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know if my strategy of following the harmonica is correct, but everything is scary. <laughs> New strat. Just follow the root system, maybe. Okay. 
Here it is. Uh, wait. Disengage! Disengage! <laughs> no. Yeah. Die within 60 seconds of waking up! It's an achievement! Dang! See, I, I was purposely going for the achievement unlock. <laughs> That was all planned. <laughs> Let's not just the accidental autopilot into the sun. I'm such a uh, completionist. You need to get all those achievements. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> AT. <laughs> what? That's deep. T, would you say I'm making good progress? <laughs> I mean, I did learn some stuff. I, I got access to the second observatory. Learned about kind of how the whole loop thing works, sort of. You're actually progressing probably faster than me. Oh, really? Uh, I take babby steps when dealing with scary situations. You kind of, you just kind of dive in. You kind of have to. Otherwise, I get bullied by all y'all. Scared. Oh, okay, another one. Why did 
it so far away! I'm the fuck the viewers, I'm gonna go my own pace kind of streamer. <laughs> I wish I was more like that. Maybe I would retain some of my sanity still. Going. We're going. Where is it? It's just forward. That's that's a bad fishy. Oh wait, maybe it's not a bad fishy. It's a dead fishy. Whoa. You just camp in here? We're just gonna... We're just gonna... We're gonna... Get up. Get up. That's good enough, right? Oh shit. Oh shit, what did I do? Hey you! Where are you? There you are. Health spar! Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come in here, here in, well, ever actually. That makes you the second Hearthian to ever reach Dark Bramble after me, of course. Well done! Say, it's you! They made you an astronaut, and you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you. Feldspar, you're alive! You, you never were the brightest hatchling, were you? <laughs> yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my shipyard, uh, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? You crashed? But you're the greatest pilot in Hearthian history. I haven't lived in, uh... A polite society for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. My story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of the Giant's Deep, and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one has ever been before. Getting around in bar uh, Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged... Uh, once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with uh, vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. But after a while, I run into these huge anglerfish. You seen them? Big gnarly things with the uh, big gnarly things, and this was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy, I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and, well, like I said, I crash. Blammo! On impact, my ship started making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of here, out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either moving fast, or it's either move fast or die unpleasantly. So I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fired, uh, fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. A great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Well, I can't believe you didn't die. I can't believe you destroyed your ship. No wonder there's so many stories about you back home. Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Anything else you want? Anything else you wanted? I found something. Lay it on me, Hatchling. Actually, never mind. Nothing you want to share with me? Sounds like you better get out there and start exploring. Oh. Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should s know that space is weird here. Intensely. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of these weird scenes? See there, with a little opening? It's 
just big enough to launch one through, your scout tracker will tell you will tell you the scout is in two places at once. But I don't think that's wrong exactly because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see? But inside it's bigger, bigger, much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about it and my theory is space and dark bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind while you explore dark bramble and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck! Okay. You reach the core of Giant's Deep? How'd you do it? Giant's Deep's core? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's... That was a wild one, but since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it, where it ends. You'll want to uh, go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Okay. Where's your ship? Not far from here, as a matter of fact. If you go straight past the tail of the anglerfish skeleton here, you'll see a flickering light in the fog. Follow that and you'll find my old ship. What's left of it, anyways. What happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eaten a seed. And then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? This skeleton was a good find. Keeps the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they'll mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Makes sense. Should I tell the ground control to come get you? Well, sh yeah, sure. Whatever, whenever you have time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet, peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. Hmm. No, I'm good. Okay. <gasps> ah, I'm burning myself! Whoopsies. No, that's not what I went on. Okay, we found Felspar's camp. Felspar is alive. They crashed their ship and is now camping inside a huge angler skele uh, anglerfish skeleton. Felspar doesn't think my scout tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that space doesn't work the same inside Dark Bramble. Felspar doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the relative peace and quiet. Hollow Vines. Felspar hinted that a secret to reaching the core of Giant's Deep lies at the end of the Hollow Vines. Uh, they crashed their ship into. To find Felspar's ship, I'll want to go to the tail end of the anglerfish and look for a flickering light in the fog. Okay. The end of the fishy. There's a big fishy. Stuck. Oh, 
south, so that's the sea. So if I turn around, this is the tail, and there's the <gasps> okay, I'm gonna have to fix the stupid electrical thing again. Ugh. I die. <laughs> okay, I don't like that. Go back. I'm going. Go. <laughs> no. There we go. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Safe. Electrical system busted again. Gosh darn it. Okay, well I can't. I found something. Actually, never mind. Elsewhere. Okay, now you're gonna Hey <laughs> Now how exactly do we explore this place?
I'm scared. Everything's dark. I can't see anything. Has to be good enough. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Is it Novaing? Are we Novaing? Yes, we are Novaing. Into the Nova! Nova! late to stream. You're late to stream. <laughs> You're very late to stream. I'm just kidding. It's fine. You didn't miss anything. I'm starting the loop right now. 15 months though. Yes! Pog. It's been so long. I honestly don't feel like I've been streaming for so long. I guess it's also uh contributed to the fact that I don't stream as often. I was watching my show, my bad. This whole year has flown by. It has. But hopefully this oncoming new year will be even more uh, eventful than this one. Ember Twin, the Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from 
somewhere on the hourglass twins. Negative time interval measured at the white hole station was further investigated at the high energy lab. Why is it that the logs look different right now? Okay, engaging autopilot. So we need some kind of electric force field thingamabobber. Everything is broken. Counterclockwise, counterclockwise. This one's going counterclockwise. Yay. Touchy, touch, touch, touch. Too much damage to the ship! Oh no! with it ain't got no gas in it. Uh, I think it has a little bit more of a problem than just that. Mmm. This is a problem. Uh... <laughs> Jellyfish, Mr. Jellyfish, could you please help me? Hi. I like jellyfish. They're cute. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jellyfish. Mmm. <laughs> Jellyfish. <laughs> For the longest time, jellyfish used to be one of my favorite, most favorite aquatic creatures. The zapping kind of helped. Yeah, it did. The great white will always and forever be my favorite animal. Oh, thank you for the follow, Gamer Elite! What's it? 
Why, do you mean the great white? Like, as in the shark? Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thought so. Eh? Did the bunk not work? My brain is turning off slowly but surely. Me too. My brain is completely off. It's already been off. Hollow's Lantern. Is this something that I can go to? Wait, how come your bonk worked, but gamers didn't? Wait, it didn't work for you either? Hold on. Something happened with the... Uh... No? It's still working. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah, it's working. You punk. You scamming me. Is Hollow's Lantern a thing that I can land on? Oh, oh god. What, what happened? Everything's breaking. My autopilot broke. Is my ship okay now? Yeah, we're okay. should I pick? Let's go to the twin planet thing. Where are they? Mm, they're right there. Ember twins. Can I share a quote that made me feel emotional from this book I'm reading? Yes, of course! He wanted to hear her talking about the things she loved for the rest of his life. That's the quote. The book is called A Man Called Ovi. Okay. Aww. Cute. Is somebody feeling very, um, like emotional? Like, well, how do you describe that feeling? Aww, that's super cute! The landing... <gasps> uh, I landed. It's good enough for me. 
I'll have to do. Sand? Is it just me or are we slowly sinking? Oh no, we're not. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Will this kill me? It looks like it will kill me. Let's not touch that. And I don't know what this stuff is in my eyes, but it needs to stop. No, T. Shush. I just got here. I'm not gonna fly back here again. At least not so soon. Touch the spiky plant, I'm sure it's fine. No! I'm not touching any spiky plants. I'm not gonna do anything with any plants. No! I found a scroll. But where can I put it? Is there a place I can put it? No? The heck? Touch. Ah! I just punctured my suit. The hell? Ooh, there's something underneath. There's something underneath here. Keep rising. Keep rising. Rise. Rise. Ow! Ah, this is dangerous! Friends visiting from the Hing City, we are planning the Ash Twins project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins Equator. I beam lost on Ember Twins, my gratitude my gratitude that Rami found me, but the high energy lab is the building with the large solar panels. Solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise imme immensely clever Connie uh, would lose his own head if it weren't automatically impossible. I don't get it. Ooh. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! What are you? Oh no! I'm gonna die. I'm getting hurled into the sun! Oh, I'm dead! How do I land softly? How? Please, teach me! Cause that's half the reason why I die! I'm angry! I know, spoilers is not even a spoiler! It's just a mechanic that I still don't understand how to execute. I'm gonna keep driving myself into the sun until you tell me. You hear me? I'm gonna keep driving into the sun. That's the content you have wished upon yourself. Ugh. Okay, okay. That stupid sun. Giant. Okay, there we go. Go, go, go. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. The sun will find you regardless of it. I say anything or not. Shush. Oh, hey, we made it. Open the hatch. Let me out. Oh god, what kind of parking job did I do there? That's okay. Oh, it's the other... It's the other escape pod. What? 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 Hello? We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Our escape pods passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anona, everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You may... You have my gratitude. Burr, were you... But, were you able to find the other escape pods distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pods crashed on the same planet as us. Oh no, Burr. It's not but. Burr. It's the actual name. Whoops. Burr, but. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. External temperature is po prohibitively high. Verdict. Inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet surface. Collision imminent. Prepare for impact. Launching escape pod 3. Now launching escape pod 2. Begin flight log. Ex log. Escape pod 2. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Okay. The heat from the star system sun is more un uh, more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured its planet's surface, it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. But no, no, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chances for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming uh, irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone. And be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Okay. We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we can construct long-term shelter there. The cavern Milore found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. It's not very reassuring. Where the hell do we go? Deep, deep, deep down. This way. But I want to read all those other messages first. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coleus Col and I will examine the horrors that lie at this terminus later, provided we live through this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it. Nope, nope, nope. Keep moving, friends. There is nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Emergency escape hatch. Oh, it's literally just rocks. Okay. 
Not even special colorful rocks. Just rocks. Of note, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. We cannot tell how far or deep these tunnels may wind. Uh, but do not linger as the area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Okay. Refill your air supply tank and return quickly. Returning, returning, returning. Hey, you hear something swoopy and I don't like it. Okay, so it's over here. That's the promising way. The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit. Then turn left, continue to the room filled with rock column formations, and climb upwards to the opening above them. I'm not gonna remember this! The heck? Uh, okay, so... Walk forward until you meet the sandfall pit. Turn left. Okay, sandfall pit. Uh, turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upwards through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Okay, so sand paw fall left. Keep going until rooms of columns, then go up. And then what? And then this? Is it this way? Maybe. Ah! Uh... Oh, okay. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Malorian and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel behind the falling sand. Follow it. You'll reach the shelter once. On the far side. One's on the This is not right. No, it's behind it. Yes. Okay. You're doing well. There's only a little further left to go until you reach the shelter sh site. There, you can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Hey, yeah. Leave me alone. There it is. We found it. Do 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 do. Oh. Shelter. Oh, interesting. Angular fossil overlook. Oh. There were so many of them. Oh, there was even like little baby ones. What is this? Is that a mask? This is kind of creepy. Anything here? I will consider this as a negative. There is nothing here.
Hillier, Fish, Overlook District, Stepping Stone District, High Energy Lab, Trailhead, Eye Shrine District. What's that? This lab. Stepping Stone. Okay. That's cool. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we have if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I almost can't comprehend this. Is beginning... Uh, it, this being suggested seriously. I pr the purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristics of our species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station no matter how badly we want knowledge that comes with it. Fear of fa failure is a poor reason not to try, I believe. If we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I wouldn't support the station's use. Or, I won't support the station's use. What? What? Okay, so I'm assuming the sun station thing is what's causing the supernova. Is that a, a fair assumption? Oh, whoops. There must be a path. Or not. Uh, just kidding, it's just a... a prison. Okay. The assumption is fair. Okay. Uh, I get dizzy. What am I looking at? Okay, there we go. Go up. Okay. Whoa! Why is this one all scratchy? I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to this solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. Oh, it's like a kid's writing maybe that's why it's all scratchy what if the eye wanted that to happen what if the eye isn't something good oh no what if the eye is evil it's an evil eye
Jeez, there's so many dead no my. We did it, yay! Be welcome to this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. Oh, are we gonna learn about the eye? We observe the eye signal in our travels and follow it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Okay. What if it's like a, a space cult? If the Eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps it, this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally, con uh, naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. How do you know how old the eye is? Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? I think I have the DLC. Is it something that I have to activate? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. But at this rate, I don't think you'll know how to access it, Lul. Well, in due time. In due time. Are you going to die from the impatience you're feeling? Hey, how do I get out of here? Excuse me. Where's the exit? Am I trapped? Snap, I might be trapped. Oh, wait, no. There's something here. <laughs> I'm not trapped. I made it out. Bah. Okay, we made it inside the temple. So let's go back out. Oh, it's filling up with sand. Like a lot of sand. When did that happen? Gravity cannon. Let's leave. 
Less about impatience and more just your acceleration habits have reached a point where I know you won't be able to find it. Ah, uh, nah, I'll be able to find it, don't worry. Ah, uh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. No! <sighs> okay, okay. Before you reach the end, I'll let you know. Okay. <gasps> um, but I think I'm gonna call it here. I do need to start packing for tomorrow. And I need to wake up early. So, next time, I will do more exploration of the places that I've already been to be a little bit more thorough. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. I will see you back here um, on Monday, most likely. But other than that, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you then. Bye!